sponsored by Genshin Impact. Hi, my name is Alice, but I'm not from Wonderland. Growing up, I had the picture-perfect family, two loving parents, and my baby sister, April. We were always together, up to all sorts of crazy stuff. We were the queens of pranking, and there was never a dull moment when we were playing The Floor is Lava. Ah, oh, I'm gone, Giggles. I'm gonna melt. Save yourself. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. Don't worry, I'll save you. Hold on, Jelly Bean. Whoops. Oh, now we're both covered in lava. I felt <laughs> like the luckiest kid alive until I noticed my parents arguing often. Whenever they'd fight, I'd try to distract April so we wouldn't have to think about divorce. I was 10. I knew what it meant. Some of my classmates' parents were going through it, and it scared me. But one day, when April and I saw Mom with my math teacher, I knew it was the beginning of the end. That's gross. Why is Mom with your teacher? Mom's friends with him. Don't tell Dad about it, okay? But April blew the whistle on Mom. Why would you... I... I'm sorry, Alice. I was so furious with April, and I refused to talk to her for weeks. We were like total strangers living under the same roof. And a few months later, my parents split. April chose to stay with Dad, and I started fresh with Mom in a new city. I thought my life was going to continue being a total disaster, especially when I dropped all my books after bumping into some girl at the new school. Hey, let me help you with that. My name's Sandra. You're Alice? Just moved in with your mom nearby, didn't you? Yeah, how'd you know? This is a small town. Everyone knows everyone's business. Sandra was sweet and kind. We spent the rest of the day together, and I knew right then, she was my new best friend. And on my 15th birthday, she even made me a handmade birthday card. Happy birthday, sister. What's wrong? I told her everything about April and how everything was ruined. She's an idiot, but don't worry, you got me. I'm your sister now. Uh, how about BFFs? BFFs it is. But I still missed April so badly and kept sending her messages, but it seems like she had blocked my number. Whenever I called Dad, she wouldn't talk to me. Sandra noticed I was feeling down and told me to stop thinking about someone who hurt me. To keep me busy, she suggested we play online games together. There's this new game, Genshin Impact. It's like the coolest role-playing game ever. It's got a gorgeous open world to explore, tons of characters to get to know, and epic battles that are so intense, they'll have you on the edge of your seat. Plus, the graphics are out of this world. It's like you're playing in a real-life anime, and thanks, but you know, gaming just isn't my thing. Maybe sometime later? Sure thing. Whenever you want to get into gaming, I'll be there to help you out. Life was going great. New town, BFF, and totally nailing my studies. But then, out of nowhere, mom dropped a bomb. Dad was getting married, and we had to attend. I was excited, but also a bit nervous to be seeing April again after years, so I asked Sandra to come with me, and thankfully, her parents said yes. Yay! Once we landed in Chicago, it turned out Dad had rented a whole hotel for the guests. A destination wedding and vacation? How cool! Oh, I'm sorry, but watch where- Why don't you watch it? Alice, this ain't Wonderland where you keep bumping into people and act all cute. Who was this girl who knew my name? Oh my god, April. April, you've changed a lot. Yeah, it's called growing up, but you still seem to be stuck up with- Watch it, is this the sister who ruined your picture-perfect family? I can see it now. Oh, the sidekick. Dad told me you'd be bringing someone. Honestly, I thought it'd be a boyfriend, but seriously? That was not how I wanted to meet my sister after five years. I tried talking to April the entire evening, but she ignored me, and Sandra was just everywhere. Later that night, I knocked on April's door and hugged her tight. Excuse me, back off. And don't pretend like everything's okay. April, I'm so sorry. I realize now what I said was wrong. It was never your fault. Well, too late. I'm in the middle of playing Genshin Impact, so please, just get out and don't try and talk to me. I told you not to. Cut it out, Sandra. She's my sister. I need to sort things out. Please, stay out of it. The next day, I realized how I had yelled at Sandra for no reason and went to apologize to her. She hugged me instantly. I wished April could find it in her heart to forgive me one day, too. But throughout the wedding festivities, April continued giving me the cold shoulder. I knew I totally deserved it. I wanted to fix everything. But how? Oh, wait. I'm in the middle of my awesome game. What game was that? Oh yeah, Genshin Impact, the game Sandra was always talking about. Maybe if April noticed me playing it, she'd talk to me? I instantly downloaded the game, but little did I know that by playing Genshin Impact, my life was gonna take a magical turn and nothing would ever be the same. Wow, this feels like stepping into a dream. The breathtaking world, the mesmerizing soundtrack, the unique elemental combat system, it's a sensory overload in the best way possible. 
Since I had never played video games before, I knew I had to learn how to play. I had to give it my all if I wanted to bond with April again, so I ran into Sandra's room and pulled her out of bed. It's 2 a.m. What do you want? I want to be a gamer. Now. Why the sudden interest in gaming? I want to I wanna get into gaming because you love it so much. Aw, Alice, you're the best. We'll have so much fun together. It's easy. Sandra was kind of wrong. It was easy, just not for me. It took me some time, but eventually I got the hang of it. Sandra had been playing the game for a long time. She taught me everything about it, and so began my journey. I visited Mondstadt first as part of the main quest. Then I cleared a thousand wind temples around the city. Completing the main quest gave me a lot of XP. The more I got, the faster I leveled up, and the faster I could reach AR-16 and play with other players. Soon. I was fighting bosses, opening chests, solving puzzles, and then after hours and hours of playing the game, finally, I reached the famous Adventure Rank 16. That unlocked the co-op mode in the game. Whoa, well, it was one step closer to finding April, but it wasn't as simple as I thought it would be. The game has like 1.5 million players daily. I visited many player worlds, and yet I couldn't find her. Finding April was like searching for a needle in a haystack. One day, Sandra invited me to play a co-op session in her world. There, I saw something amazing. <gasps> a player with the name Jellybean042007. I knew right away it was April. I used to call her Jellybean, and 04207 was basically my sister's birth month and year. April 2007. Bingo! Sandra, who is this player? Jellybeans? Isn't that a little funny? You're one to talk, Giggles. And Jellybean, she's a brilliant player. It's like we read each other's minds when we play as a team. Looks like Sandra does like April. I soon began playing with April, and boy, was she tough. She was a no-nonsense player and cleared domains like she was born to do it. And any player who showed weakness was kicked out, and she was the host of most of the co-op worlds we played. So I had to bring in my A-game. One time, we were playing the City of Gold, and it looked like we were going to lose, but I saved the day by defeating Winged Cry. Shroom. Well done. I didn't know you had it in you. Wow, thanks. It's a huge compliment coming from you. I'm making you a regular in my co-op. See you next time. Wow, I felt like I was in heaven when April showed me some appreciation. I was still trying to talk to her in person, but she acted like I didn't exist. It was like I was a ghost she couldn't see. But at least I got to talk to her about the game. She thought I was some random guy. It was cool that she was opening up to me. Once we returned home, I got back to playing Genshin Impact, and April and I connected even more. She would chat with me throughout the game and told me things about herself that I never knew. I actually love reptiles. I know that sounds creepy, but I want to have a snake as a pet or an iguana. Ugh, giggles. I didn't do well on one of my projects, and I don't know how to tell my parents. I'm sure they'll understand. Just tell them and apologize, and promise to do better next time. I hope it works. I'm trusting you. <laughs> we should meet someday. Um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe someday. Although it was just basic things about her, it still meant the world to me that she would tell me all of this, and I would share small bits and pieces of my life as well, without her knowing it was me the entire time. Sandra was happy that I was getting along with Jellybean and getting better at playing the game. Things were going great, until one day, our co-op team had to play the Hidden Palace of Zoo Formula. It was a tough one, and April told me how she'd attempted it multiple times, but failed. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. Don't worry. I'll save you, Jellybean. You remind me of someone. Never mind. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's do this, team. We were about to play the game on Saturday night, and before that, I made sure to practice hard. I learned all about shortcuts and how to navigate each adventure. I learned how to use the different rewards, like artifacts, character talent materials, weapon ascension materials, and more. After a lot of practice, finally, I felt like I was more than ready for the challenge. Sandra, April, and I made an amazing team of Hydro, Pyro, and Geo. As we entered the world, first, we had to find the four flame torches. Since I was the Pyro in the team, I got to do that while Sandra and April covered me. Once I was done lighting the three torches, I started looking for the fourth one. Honestly, we were all playing like our lives depended on it, but it seemed like we weren't going to make it through. Finally, I found the fourth torch, northeast of the camp, but the moment I lit it, a pro-abyss mage appeared. I thought I was going to be done for, but thank God, Sandra used her hydro skills and finished it. Next, we all traveled to the Geo Monument, and there, April used her Geo skill on the unsealed shrine, which finally opened the hidden palace of Zhu Formula. In the end, we won! and got tons of awesome artifacts. OMG, I'm so happy for April. I'm so happy for her too. Wait, what? That's April? Is this why you wanted to learn the game? I thought it was to bond better with me. Looks like I was wrong and just being used. Sandra, come on. You're my best friend and nothing will ever change that, but I have to get on good terms with April. She is my baby sister after all, and I miss her. 
After a while of pin-drop silence, Sandra finally spoke. I understand, and I'm sorry for how I behaved, but aren't you gonna tell her it's you? I'm scared of how she'll react. She's already been asking to meet me, but I've been making up excuses so far. Oh wait, she's texting me and asking me to meet her. What should I do? What if she's angry? I... Okay. Breathe, Alice. Just agree to meet her and rip the band-aid off. I'll be there with you for the whole thing. It was easier said than done. I needed some time to think about it, and after months, I felt I was ready to finally meet April and took Sandra with me. I was shaking like a leaf the entire way to the park we decided to meet at. I was bracing myself for April anger and dagger-like words, but what happened when we met shocked me. She's hugging me. Wait, you're not angry? I thought you would- At first, I had doubts. But come on, giggles? Then I thought, why would Alice go through so much trouble for me? And you became just an in-game friend. But then you said something when we were playing the Hidden Palace of Zhu formula that confirmed it was you. I was angry, but you put so much effort to learn the game just to bond with me. I just couldn't stay mad at you. I'm so sorry for blaming you for everything. It wasn't your fault. I hope you can forgive me. I do. I forgive you. I missed you so much, Alice. This was one of the happiest days of my life. I finally had my sister back. Ahem. Ahem. Hi, Jelly Beans. It's me, Shaquille Oatmeal, or you can call me Sandra. That was you? I can't believe it. I'm a huge fan. OMG, I'm your fan. I'm like your biggest fan ever. So, sister, are you...